the simplest upgrades that anybody can do to their computer is just upgrade their RAM. In most cases, it's very simple to do. And uh, I would start out by going ahead and doing a search online on either uh, Kingston or uh, Crucial's websites to be able to do a compatibility search. After you go ahead and complete that search by typing in your model number uh, of your computer, so like for example we have a gateway here and you can look up the exact uh, model number for it, uh, or on a laptop as well, then it will go ahead and be able to determine what memory speed that you need and type of memory so that you can go ahead and uh, either remove the existing memory or add to it. And it just depends on the configuration. On this particular motherboard here, we have four slots. And it's very simple to go ahead and uh, add or remove the memory. It just goes ahead and clips in. And on the memory itself, it actually tells you the speed and timing and type of memory that it is. Now, after you go ahead and look up what memory that you do need, you should still go ahead and take a look inside your machine to go ahead and see if anybody has previously upgraded it prior. Because they may have changed it to something that is less optimal and could actually be slowing down the machine. Now, some machines, like this laptop here, this is a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. It's uh, like an Ultrabook. And you actually, if you take a look, you'll notice that there's actually no place to upgrade the memory on here. So in this particular instance, this machine is non-upgradable. Now some Ultrabooks that are still very thin do have the ability to add like a single DIMM to it. And typically it'll have like four gigs of memory on the motherboard itself. And then maybe like another four gigabyte DIMM that is installed for a total of eight gigs. Now here, we have another laptop, it's another Lenovo, and I'll just go ahead and remove the remaining screws to be able to access it. And here we can actually go ahead and see that it has two DIMM slots. Now here, if we go ahead and actually take the memory out, you can actually see what is written on them. In this case, this is a Samsung chip that is 4 gigs, uh, PC3L, and the speed is uh, 12,800 uh, S, and then there's the timings of 11, 13, and B4. And then here is the other DIMM, which is actually a Axiom, which is a 8 gig DDR3 uh, that's also PC3L, and that's uh, 12,800 for the speed as well. And I actually do not see the timings on this chip, but there's a model number that you can also go ahead and look up as well. And typically the manufacturers will go ahead and give you the specifications of the memory when you look it up on their site by part number.